3 a.m., LaGuardia Tower advises TWA of traffic off to its right. No one realizes it, but the United DCA is heading straight for them. Then, seven seconds later, as both planes approach 5,000, there's a brutal collision. One of the DC-8 engines tears through the fuselage of the Super Connie. The TWA plane breaks into pieces and goes down on the spot, crashing in Staten Island's Miller Airfield. But the United jet manages to stay aloft for eight and a half more miles until it's over Park Slope, Brooklyn, where Tom Regan, then 20 years old, is standing on the street. I crossed the street at 7th Avenue and Sterling Place, just stepping on the corner when I heard a loud, loud whine. And when I turned around, the wing of the plane, United Airlines was catching me to the roof of the building that I had just left. And there was a tremendous explosion. Immediately, I dropped to the ground. And then moments after that, there was a second explosion. Bang! Just everything exploded. And now the whole place was on fire. I stayed on the ground for what I thought seemed to be a long time, but I believe it was only several seconds. And I jumped up and I ran and I never looked. So this is an image right here of the devastation when the airplane hit. And you can see that 7th Avenue in Sterling. And as I say, the uh, little boy passed away six or seven hours later. But uh, obviously today it's built by you can see this is pretty much the area where it hit and uh, it's pretty much built up again. So this is a modern day look at New York Presbyterian and um, you can just imagine how scared that little guy was when they took him here. But this would be, this is the emergency entrance of this hospital, which I've been to a few times, obviously, living in the neighborhood my whole life with family members and myself once. And, um, you know, very scary situation, but um, Hopefully he's in a much better place right now. And, um, you know, hopefully nothing like that will ever happen again in Brooklyn. We hope not. So this is the plaque, a photo of the plaque that's in the chapel of New York uh, Presbyterian Hospital. And you can see that he had five dimes and four nickels in his pocket. And uh, it says there, our tribute to uh, a brave little boy. So if you ever go to that chapel, you'll see that. And um, the family actually took that change and they put it into the uh, collection plate at the hospital. So uh, that's basically it. So once again, folks, I'd like to thank you for joining me on this video. And uh, please, if you like this video, please like, please share, please subscribe. Please drop me a line. Do you remember this incident? Did you have any relatives or people who might remember it? Hopefully nothing like this will ever happen again, as I said before. But. Uh, Everyone take care of yourself. I want to wish everybody a happy holidays. See you real soon on the next video. Thanks for watching. And take care of yourself, folks. Hug your loved ones. Very important.